facilitated this organization does so much and the word benevolence is in their vocabulary. Everything they make, they turn back and give to the good of the community. You gotta love it, the Hawaii Horse Owners Association. Zabin Menino is gonna bring us first Hawaiian Bank. First Hawaiian Bank steps up to the plate every time we need them. There's a one time we've asked where they haven't said, what do you need? They go, no one. So first Hawaiian Bank. Blake and I is gonna bring us Home Street Bank. Home Street Bank coming to us from Blake. He's going to bring in Home Street Bank, which says the same thing. Man, if you need it, we got it. We want to help you out. Pana Ava wouldn't be the rodeo it is today without him, and we appreciate him greatly. Fancy Agu, going to bring us Poor, the beer of the PRCA, Professional Rodeo Cowboy Association, and beyond. you on. you got to love Coors. If you're going to drink, drink responsible, but it might as well be Coors. Check them out. we got them sold up there in the back. Coors, they should sponsor the Pana Ava Stampede. Cassidy and Oil is going to bring us Benjamin Moore. Benjamin Moore, sponsored flag. Oh, what a pretty girl. <laughs> Gotta love them for all of their paint services. If they've got the color, you're going to paint it on anything you own. I tell you, I'm not bugging and having painted new shoes on me. You never know. Thank you for all of that they do. Now, I'll tell you right now, maybe the biggest sponsor of all. The country that we call home. Ladies and gentlemen, none of this is possible without the freedom that we're given. None of this is possible without the great United States of America. Bringing in the American flag, I want to welcome Jess Weston Joseph to the arena. You please rise and remove that. know about you, but seeing that American flag, it just looks better on the back of a horse. It almost takes you back to the 1800s, it takes you back to the 1700s. Every time that flag sees an hardship, so often it's been on the back of the horse at some point. Take a moment, breathe it in. We're having a great day because of that flag right there. Now, I know you're going to ask the question, where are we having this great day? It was the 50th state, but I think they got it right on number 50. Bringing the Hawaiian flag to the arena, one of my favorite cowboys, Tracy Calabaya. If you've ever seen an all-around cowboy, here he is. If you're proud to be from the state of Hawaii, I want you to stand up and make some noise right now. Have a good time for the state of Hawaii. I want you to make some noise. invite you to have a seat. I'm going to invite you to have a seat because we've got something very special for you. We're only going to do it one day on Saturday. If you picked only one day, you hit the right one. The swearing-in ceremony is a symbolic of men and women in the United States committing to something much greater than themselves, truly entering into a selfless and honorable career field where defending freedom and the nation comes first. These recruits that are going to make their way into the arena right now are in front of you to take this pledge right here with us all. Ladies and gentlemen, the organizers of Pana Eva, as they make their way in, would like to take a moment to recognize all of those who have served. If you are currently serving in uniform or you have ever served in a uniform, I want you to stand up right now and be recognized. And I don't even have to ask. They're going to cheer for you when they see you standing up. Boy, there's just something beautiful about that. Today's officer administering the oath of office is Lieutenant Colonel Loretto B. Borsi, the commander of Fohartola Training Area. Lieutenant Colonel Borsi is originally from Kalihi Valley in Oahu, attended Damien Memorial High School, and then graduated from Shamanade University. He received his commission from the University of Hawaii ROTC program and he is married with four wonderful children and lives in Waimea. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to please stand again for this. 
This is why I want you back on your feet. For this official oath of office of our young men and women, we are about to recite and commit to serving our great nation. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to the man himself, Lieutenant Colonel Borsi. The arena is yours, my friend. Good afternoon, Big Island. How's everyone doing today? You all ready to see some rodeo? First and foremost, my name is Sean First Class in Cheddar. I'm from the Hilo Army Recruiting Center. And right in front of you is some of our recruits that have taken that first step into ensuring their future and, of course, to serve our country. Only 1% of this nation has chosen to do so. So I want you to give them a round of applause. Please. With that being said, I turn it over to Lieutenant Colonel Borsi. Okay, hey, aloha. aloha. Hey, uh, thank you for coming on out to the 28th uh, Konieva Stampede Rodeo. And uh, I want to make some big uh, corrections on what I said. So I'm originally from Kalee Valley, born and raised. Uh, I grew up in Kalee Valley, then went to Damonton University of Hawaii. I share that with you because I'm really tied into Ohana community. So these folks right behind me, that one Prince Sarah, usually goes to Oahu to do their pledge, which is called the Oath of Enlistment. They decided to do it here because in front of you folks, in front of family and friends. So we'll just give them another round of applause. And the one thing I want to share with you, and I share with them before we walked in, uh, before we get this rodeo started, is I never thought I'd be in the Army, standing in front of you today. And there's things that the Army did well to me. And I want to share one event that's coming up. I'm opening the doors of Pohakalo Training Area on the 23rd of April. And I'm inviting all you guys to come and learn about the good things, natural resource, cultural resource, and the things that we do on Pohaka Law. When I was a kid, my family grew up in Kurdistan. I used to come here as a kid. And Pohaka Law used to open the gates once a year. And I'm trying to bring that back, so I invite you guys all, okay? Attention. Raise your right hand. I state your name. Do solemnly swear that I'll support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I'll bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I'll obey the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over me according to regulation and uniform code of military justice. So help me God. All right, congratulations. Come in, I want to introduce you to the newest recruits to the United States Army right there in front of you. I know you're gonna make some noise, I love the clapping, but give them a little bit of a yee-haw. It's a rodeo, one, two, three, go! Oh man, I tell you, we love it. As they exit the arena, I don't know if you're like me, and I hope you are, but anytime things get a little tough, anytime, anytime things get a little scary, I might be the first one to just gaze up into the heavens and ask for just a little bit of safety. To help us with that today, I want to bring out Pat.